We know from previous considerations that if a power series of the type A0 plus A1 times X plus A2 times X squared plus and so forth converges at some point X0, then it converges at all other points X whose absolute value is less than that of X0. This leads to the concept of the radius of convergence. Namely, it then follows that if a power series converges, it converges on an interval. Hello everybody, my name is Mika Seppale. In this video, I discuss the radius of convergence. I saw two different ways how to compute it and what to do with it. Consider the power series P of X equals A0 plus A1 times X plus A2 times X squared plus and so forth. That is P of X equals summation K from 0 to the infinity AK times X to the power K. This power series converges by the ratio test. If um, the limit as K goes to the infinity of the K plus first term of this series and absolute value of that divided by the absolute value of the Kth term of this series approaches a number which is less than 1. That is, if the limit as k goes to the infinity of the absolute value of a k plus 1 times x to the power k plus 1 divided by the absolute value of a k times x to the power k is less than 1. Now, we observe here that this expression, the absolute value of a k plus 1 times x to the power k plus 1 divided by the absolute value of a k times x to the power k simplifies, we, we may namely cancel out x to the power k from the denominator. In the numerator we have x to the power k plus 1, and when we cancel out x to the power k, we are left with just x. So the condition that we get from the ratio test now simplifies to that the limit as k goes to the infinity of the absolute value of a k plus 1 divided by the absolute value of a k times the absolute value of x must be less than 1. But now, x is a number that doesn't depend on k. Therefore, we may take the absolute value of x outside of this limit construction, and we observe that the series converges if and only if the absolute value of x is less than the limit as k goes to the infinity, absolute value of a k divided by the absolute value of a k plus 1. This, of course, assuming that this limit exists. We may also use the root test to study the convergence of the power series P of x equals a0 plus a1 times x plus a2 times x squared plus and so forth, that is summation k from 0 to the infinity, a k times x to the power k. This power series converges by the root test if the limit as k goes to the infinity of the case root of the absolute value of the case term is less than 1. That is, if the limit as k goes to the infinity of the kth root of the absolute value of a k times x to the power k is less than 1. And here, of course, kth root of x to the power k simplifies. So this quantity kth root of the absolute value of a k times x to the power k is simply kth root of the absolute value of a k times the absolute value of x. Now, the condition is that limit as k goes to the infinity k root of the absolute value of a k times the absolute value of x is less than 1. But again here, the absolute value of x does not depend on k, therefore we may take that out side of the limit construction. And we observe that from this it follows that the series converges if the absolute value of x is less than the limit as k goes to the infinity of 1 divided by the kth root of the absolute value of a k, that is a limit as k goes to the infinity, the absolute value of a k to the power minus 1 over k. This, of course, also assuming that this limit exists. Assume that the limit as k goes to the infinity, the absolute value of a k divided by the absolute value of a k plus 1, and the limit as k goes to the infinity, the absolute value of a k to the power negative 1 over k, both exist for a power series p of x equals a0 plus a1 times x plus a2 times x squared plus and so forth, that is summation k from 0 to the infinity, a k times x to the power k. 
If both of these limits exist, then by the root and the ratio test, we know that these limits have the property that if the absolute value of x is less than these limits, then this power series P of x converges, and if the absolute value of x is larger than these limits, the power series P of x diverges. This means that these limits must be the same. And now, the value of these limits is called the radius of convergence of this power series P of x equals a0 plus a1 times x plus a2 times x squared plus and so forth. This radius of convergence is often denoted by capital case R. So the radius of convergence R can be computed in two ways. One is that R equals limit as k goes to the infinity of the absolute value of ak divided by the absolute value of ak plus 1. And the second formula is that R equals limit as k goes to the infinity, the absolute value of ak to the power negative 1 over k. And here the ak's are the coefficients of the terms x to the power k in the power series summation k from 0 to the infinity, ak times x to the power k. Now this power series converges if the absolute value of x is less than capital R, that is the joint value of these two limits, and diverges if the absolute value of x is larger than R. This we know from root and ratio tests. Now at uh, x equals R or x equals negative of R, the series may converge or diverge, we don't know, because root and the ratio tests are in this case inconclusive. Let us compute the radius of convergence for this power series P of x equals x plus x squared over 2 plus x cubed over 3 plus and so forth. That is summation k from now 1 to the infinity x to the power k divided by k. So here the ak term is 1 over k and ak divided by ak plus 1 is just 1 over k divided by 1 over k plus 1 and here absolute values are actually not needed because the terms 1 over k and 1 over k plus 1 are both positive. Therefore we may get rid of the absolute values and this simplifies to k plus 1 divided by k and the limit of that as k goes to the infinity is 1. Therefore we conclude that the radius of convergence of this power series is 1. Hence we conclude that the power series P of x equals x plus x squared over 2 plus x cubed over 3 plus and so forth converges when the absolute value of x is less than 1 and diverges when the absolute value of x is larger than 1. If x equals 1, then this power series becomes just the power series 1 plus 1 half plus 1 third plus and so forth. That is summation k from 1 to the infinity, 1 over k. This is the harmonic series and we know that it diverges. If x equals negative 1, then we have the power series summation k from 1 to the infinity, negative 1 to the power k divided by k. This is the alternating harmonic series which converges. Therefore, in this case, we know that at x equals 1, the series diverges and at x equals negative 1, the series converges. The power series 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial plus and so forth, that is summation k from 0 to the infinity x to the power k divided by k factorial is a very special power series. We will later see that this power series represents the exponential function. But for the moment, let us just compute the radius of convergence of this power series. It is uh, by the ratio test limit as k goes to the infinity of 1 over k factorial divided by 1 over k plus 1 factorial. This simplifies to limit as k goes to the infinity k plus 1 factorial divided by the k factorial. But now k plus 1 factorial is the product of numbers all the way up to k plus 1 and k factorial is the product of numbers all the way up to k. And uh, here, k factorial cancels out. k plus 1 factorial divided by k factorial is simply k plus 1. And this is limit as k goes to the infinity of k plus 1. And this limit is the infinity. And this means that this power series converges 
for all values of x. Here in this formula when we wrote that the power series is summation k from 0 to the infinity, x to the power k divided by k factorial, then this k factorial when k is 0 is defined to be 1. So that's the definition of 0 factorial 1. Therefore, the first term of this series is 1. And then it uh, continues x plus x squared over 2 factorial plus and so forth. This power series converges for all values of x. To summarize this discussion, we have observed that if for a power series p of x equals a0 plus a1 times x plus a2 times x squared plus and so forth, that is summation k from 0 to the infinity, a k times x to the power k. If for such a power series, the limits as k goes to the infinity of the absolute value of a k divided by the absolute value of a k plus 1, and the limit as k goes to the infinity of the absolute value of a k to the power negative 1 over k, if these limits exist, then they are the same. And the common value of these two limits is called the radius of convergence of this particular power series p of x. And the result is that this power series converges if the absolute value of x is less than this radius of convergence and diverges if the absolute value of x is larger than this radius of convergence and if the absolute value of x equals the radius of convergence the series may converge or may diverge we do not know then a closer study must be performed using other methods.